Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the age uh, in years based on the uh, date of birth of an employee, for example, or a person. Here I have the AdventureWorks sample database and looking into the uh, employee uh, table, you can see that we have the uh, date of birth uh, or the birth date column. So what I did is write a query that uh, shows me only uh, some uh, columns of this uh, table. So I want to add next to the birth date in my query, uh, just after the birth date, I want to have here the age. So I prepared this query that uh, calculates the uh, age for me and I'm going to explain to you how it works. So let's run it first and as you can see it gives me the age in years 53, 50 etc. So let's first understand what it does and then uh, add it to my uh, main query here. So what this does is first it calculates the difference in years between the birth date and the current date. So let's say the current date is uh, May 7th, 2022 and the birth date is uh, some date in 1952. So it's going first to calculate the difference in years between 2022 and 1952. Then the next thing it's going to do is calculate the difference in months between the current date and the birth date. So if the current date is May and the birth date is September, for example, it means that we need to subtract, subtract one from this difference because we have not reached September yet, meaning that we have an extra year in the uh, in the age but if the current date or the current month is bigger than the the birth uh, the, the month in the birth date we keep this difference as it is so this is what this is what's happening here so if the difference between uh, the current month and the birth date month is less than zero it means that we need to subtract one. So that's why we have this plus. We will subtract one from this uh, year difference. But if it is equal or higher, we will uh, keep, we will add zero to this difference, meaning that we will keep it as it is. So now if I copy this uh, formula, and add it here just after birth date in my query and run this query again you will see that uh, next to the birth date now you have the age so for example for this person that's born in January 29th uh, 69 its age is 53 which is exactly the difference between 2022 and 1969 for this person, the difference between 2022 and 1971 is 51. But why you have the age here as 50 is because the current month, which is May, is less than uh, the birth date month, which is August. Okay? So you see that it is working based on the year and month. What's not good with this formula, formula is that it doesn't take into account the uh, date of the month. Meaning that if the current date and the birth date have the same month, this formula does not compare uh, uh, day of the month. But we can do that easily. For example, for this person, the birth date is 1987 
21st of May. So we see the age is 35, but just uh, 35, just taking into account the year and the month. But if we take into account the uh, the year, uh, the day of the month, we have not reached the 21st of May yet. So if you want to show here 34, the age 34 until the 21st of May, you can do that. So let's try and do that. Let's try to have 35 here instead of uh, uh, 34, sorry, instead of 35. So it's going to have 34 until the 21st of May. So if I come back here to my uh, formula, copy this. And paste it right here, plus. And then instead of comparing the month, we will compare the day. Same thing here. So if the day is the, uh, of the current uh, date is less than the birth date, we will subtract one from the age. If it is equal or, uh, or greater, we will keep the difference between the years as it is. So let's try that. And what I should see, I should see here on line 22, I should see 34 instead of 35. So let's run this, go to line number 22. And there you go, we have 34. This is going to become 35 on the 21st of May of this year. So this is it guys, that's how you calculate uh, the age based on the uh, birth date that you have in one of your uh, SQL uh, tables. I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching.